What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons. Now today, the new Creeping Winter DLC just came out, as you see right here by this little news update. These frostbitten lands desperately need a hero, brave new missions, and beat relentless mobs on your journey to defeat the wretched wraith at the center of the storm. What's this other thing over here? Uh, new merchants, woo! Oh, that's interesting. So a little bit uh, south of our camp is going to be a new merchant. Let's see what this says. Save captured merchants you encounter in the game. They will be so grateful that you set up shop in your camp. Yeah, we had to happen uh, like in the tutorial or something like that, but we haven't had a new merchant happen uh, or stop by ever since like the traveling merchant, wandering trader, whatever his name was. Uh, he never. Yeah, here we go. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. There's a lot of them now. What? There's the black. What happened to the traveling guy? I don't know, but there's a gift wrapper. Or there's the blacksmith that we already knew from earlier. Village merchant. And who is this over here? Luxury merchant. Oh man, there are a lot of them. Mystery merchant. What? I guess it's where we could spend our uh, our, our emeralds in a, a bigger variety of different ways. That's good. Kind of want to start from the top though. Maybe let's go to the village merchant. What does he have? Oh, we can just straight buy stuff. We don't have to get like weird loot boxes or whatever. So that's interesting. Village merchant. This merchant sells common and rare items at a fair price. Okay. Well, uh, we we could look into that a little bit more later. Oh, we could do oh, upgrade slots. Instantly earned. Instantly returns any invested enchantment points. Upgrading an item takes three missions to complete. Whoa. This is interesting. There's a lot of stuff here we could upgrade with the uh, with this guy. Instead of buying stuff, we upgrade stuff here. Interesting. Which is good because sometimes we would have some of these uh, these artifacts over here. that are like lower level as heck. Like, uh, like yeah, like the Death Cat Mushroom. That's level 34. Well, everything else that we're using is like in the 40s or even 50s now, all right? So if, if we can upgrade this thing for 380, I wonder how much better it's going to be. Upgrading an item takes three missions to complete. Really? So if I put the Death Cat Mushroom here, and then I do the DLC, by the time I'm done with the DLC, it's going to be done. What? <laughs> item power is re-rolled based on your recommended difficulty. I assume this is like an update in general to the game, and uh, not just for the DLC, huh? So I guess it makes more sense if you think about it that way. Yeah, Lightning Rod, remember this thing does pretty good damage. You can kind of like tell it where to strike down, but it's like really kind of like focused in in a small area, so we do need to uh, be careful with that thing. I don't know if I'll upgrade anything over here just yet, though. What about the gift wrapper? What is this? Gift wrapping unavailable. The gift wrapper lets you send items to other players when playing multiplayer. Okay, that's interesting. I could definitely see where that'd come into play in uh, multiplayer. What about the village merchant? I, I wanted to actually see what he's selling. So he has uh, 260 emeralds for this. Hunter's armor, 619. Whoa! 619 health. 475 for the soul robe? Oh, well, that's the power level 56, though. So that, that makes sense. That's a lot of health. I, don't, I, I already forgot. It's been a couple months. I don't know what armor we have right now. Yeah, we have the Shadow Walker, 547 health, a brief invulnerability while rolling, and 50% faster roll and 35% damage reduction with Potion Barrier and Protection 3. Potion Barrier 2, Protection 3. What is our weapon right now? We have the Maulers, level 51, with a Fire Aspect 3 and Radiance 2, and our bow is a Firebolt Thrower. Chance of a chain reaction, explodes on impact, 2 to 8 range damage with Power 3 and Gravity 1. What are our current artifacts? I love Medallion, yeah, I definitely love that thing. The Harvester. Yeah, maybe you want to upgrade this thing to be quite honest. It's level 38 right now, and then of course the Fisher Rod, which I use for my intro and outro and stuff, so that's not really uh, what our, our current third thing is right now, right? <laughs> oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to fling the Fisher Rod for the intro. Eh, whatever. Not that big of a deal. We also have the Iron Hide Amulet. Ah, there's got to be new artifacts we're going to get during this uh, during this DLC, though. I, I don't know what I want to get like right out of the bat, though. Maybe with the Flaming Quiver, or maybe the Firework Arrow. Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel like we need some sort of ranged thing here. The Corrupted Beacon is good and all, but it's, it's a level 30 out of, like, 43, 38. And the armor's, like, at 50-something, so it's really under-leveled right now. I, I, if anything, maybe I'll try and upgrade that, to be quite honest. You know what, let's definitely do that. Let, let's go upgrade that, and then I guess we could use the Firework Arrow as our current third artifact. Let's go over to the Blacksmith. Let's see. What's he going to say about uh, upgrading the, the Beacon over here? 280 to upgrade that. So if I wanted to upgrade it, uh, so what is that right now? Is that what it is right now? 437 artifact damage per sec- oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I thought something happened right there. Uh, yes, it's, it's 437 right now. I thought- oh, jeez! <laughs> accidentally just I can hit him with that thing right there, jeez! Alright, let's, let's click on him again. Uh, it's, it doesn't tell me what it's going to be after we upgrade, though, so I guess we'll upgrade it, hold to confirm, boom. And it's going to take three missions until that's done. 
Jeez. I guess I could do some off camera, like, uh, like redoing some of the old missions we've already done, I suppose. But I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Maybe, maybe I'll do that between this episode and next episode. Maybe next episode we'll have that beacon done. <laughs> Either way, the luxury merchant, what does this guy have? Ooh, a sale. Can't afford it. Man, I can just barely not afford it. We might be able to get it if we get the spawn bonus or whatever that, that chest is called. Give us slow arrows that knocks back mobs and passes through, mo uh, passes through walls. 118 range damage, 6 second cooldown. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, I think I even still have one. It's just like low level as heck, right? Yeah, so it's level 30, 44 range damage compared to uh, 118. Yeah, that'd be really good. No. Hmm, requires souls, though, and that'd be our only, uh, soul ga- Wait, no, this would gather souls as well, so that's good, no? Get two souls per kill, if we have that thing, uh... What about the mystery box? Okay, so this is where, like, the mystery boxes went. Look at this guy's outfit. <laughs> he looks like a superhero, or even, like, a villain or something crazy. Random melee weapon gives you a random melee weapon, item power 50 of 59, I like the sound of that. Gives you a random ranged weapon. You know what, for 230 emeralds, I like the sound of that for power level 50 to 59. That's not too bad. Restock for 75 emeralds. We can do a couple of these, you guys. Reserve. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Or maybe it means that these are locked down here. I don't know. I'm just going to buy it right now, though. Boom. Vine whip. Whoa. A sturdy whip made out of thick, thorn-laden vines capable of poisoning anything it touches. Be careful not to scratch yourself. Inflicts poison, longer melee reach, power level 55. How much damage does it actually do, though? That's one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, now it's out of that. So I can't, like, spam by uh, mystery boxes like we did beforehand. Now we have to pay him to restock. Ooh. Well, what about the random ranged weapon? Let, let's buy that. What are we going to get there? Power level 50. Hell, that's a troll. That is a troll. It's a trick bow. Man. And then we can pay him to restock. Boom. Clears and refreshes current items to sale with this merchant. Reserved items will not be refreshed. Okay, so that's what the reserve thing was, huh? Cost uh, increases every time you restock and resets after every. Okay, so after we finish a mission, he should have new stuff, anyways. So not that big of a deal. Okay, so it's still the same price: 230 for another uh, random range and melee. I can't afford to get both of them again. I like that vine. I think I'm going to get the. Uh, oh, whoops! This is range on the left side this time. It's too ranged again. Let's see what we're going to get. Soul crossbow, power level 51. Hmm. I need to see how much damage and stuff these do. Oh yeah, restock is 155 emeralds now, sheesh. Now, how's that, how about that, uh, oh man, the vine whip, whoa! 260 melee damage compared to, uh, 56 to 101 with a really, you guys know the maulers, they're really, really fast. I might, I might get rid of the, the maulers, honestly. I love the sound of this. It does poison, like, uh, like a damage over time sort of thing. Ooh, and then we have two enchantment slots over here for dynamo, what was that? As damage to your next attack after rolling, ooh. Upgrade to 52 damage. So if I roll around, which I guess I, I, it makes sense, because remember, our armor does have an incentive to roll. Brief invulnerability when rolling and then faster rolls. That would make sense. I think we're going to salvage the maulers, though. Get a lot of enchantment points back. And uh, I don't know about the, the firebolt thrower. 208 range damage compared to 134 of the crossbow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to. Man, that really sucks, though. <laughs> Oh, I might just salvage these, get a little bit of something back, right? Jeez. There you go. And what was this again? The soul bow? Yeah, it's just a regular one. It's just a regular bow version of that thing. And what was this again? Hunting bow, 81 to 202, and 208. Supercharge and chain reaction. I might I might salvage that as well. Let's let's definitely get rid of the maulers, though. Fire aspect and radiance and all that stuff. Yeah, let's definitely get rid of that. Upgrade the new vine whip that we got. Oh, yeah, we had a whip over here, too. And then a firebrand, then a highland axe, daggers. I can probably get rid of the daggers, honestly, because that's similar to the maulers. Let's get the vine whip, though. Let's get that one. Of course, it's going to be a little bit slower, but it does a little bit of like a, a straight line AOE where it attacks multiple targets and it does poison damage over time on that. So that's good. Echo, what was this? Some of your attacks to be followed up by another attack in rapid succession. Five second cooldown. Now, what about chains? Has a 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together to keep them bound for a short time. That sounds great for something that does AOE like this, you guys. Although I'd, I'd really love if we had. Some oh, and then shockwave. That, that was really good last time we had a whip. I'm definitely thinking about getting that, but then again, Radiance is a really powerful one as well. Has a 20% chance to spawn a circular area that heals allies within it. I really don't know if I want to do more damage with the Shockwave, 91 damage, and then 137, and then 182. Or do Radiance with 42 health, 63, and then 84. Just assume we're going to be upgrading it fully, right? Because we can only do one on this uh, side, and then one enchantment on this side. I don't know what I want to do, honestly. So for the first enchantment slot, what am I going to do? As damage to your next attack after rolling. 100% chance to... I might do chains, honestly. Two, one second duration, two second duration, three second duration. 
That might be really powerful, especially if we're in like an emergency situation. We, could, it, we have a chance of chaining enemies up as we're running away and almost dead and stuff, you know? I think we're going to do chains. Let's do it. I don't think we've ever had this before, so hey, it's going to be new to us. And then Radiance. 20% chance. And then this happens every time, like every time, uh... Because because the whip doesn't have a combo, so every time we whip it, it does this shockwave. It's not like a 20% chance or a 30% chance or whatever, it does it every time, so... I'm, I'm honestly thinking about doing the shockwave. Just because it's a guaranteed thing, while wow, the Radiance has a 1 in 5 chance. 42 health, nowadays when we have multiple hundreds of health, that's not really too much, but... It'll add up over time. I think I'm going to do the shockwave though. It is powerful, these are powerful, so they will take two enchantment points. We're up to 11 right now, so we can do this one. Do I want to upgrade this one fully to 182? I th I'm thinking about it, you guys. 182 on top of the 260 right there, we're doing over 400 damage per hit. <laughs> that's crazy. And AoE. Oh man, that's powerful. And we have the chance of chaining stuff. You definitely want to go upgrade those as well. Uh, let, let, me, let me at least get chains too. There you go. And then we have three enchantment points left over. Do we want to do anything to our armor? Like protection. No, that's maxed out. Nine second duration of a uh, potion barrier. That's basically invulnerability after taking a potion. You know, 90% damage. We only take 10% damage. Seven seconds to nine seconds. That's that's not really that big of a leap. It may be more uh more worth it to maybe even because that's a that's almost 50 points right there. That's 45 points jumping from 137 to 182. Yeah, 45 points, man. That was some quick maps right there. I'm thinking, I'm doing it. Shockwave, and then we'll have one enchantment point left. Or, actually, zero, because that was a, that was a, that was a powerful, so it took four instead of three. We could, uh, like I said earlier, maybe get rid of one of our, yeah, this bow, the hunting bow, and get five enchantment points back. I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about it. Supercharge, what was that again? Charge, uh, more damage and have more pushback. Yeah, whenever we fully pull back on that one, then chain reaction. 10% chance to trigger. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the hunting bow, honestly. Even though, it, oh, you know what? It will take less da or uh, less less ammo. Remember the these these exploding things take way more ammo, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at how much less ammo it takes for the hunting bow. So it goes from there, and then boom. I think it takes like four times less ammo compared to the explosion uh, firebolt thrower. Man, I think I'll keep it for right now, though. The only other thing we'll do is get up to chains three, which does cha uh, an extra second, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. But man, do we have a really good weapon now, you guys. Can't really, uh, yeah, what happened to the training dummies? Did they move them? I think they did, or something. I don't know where they are now. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, what? Do I not have a weapon equipped? Oh, I don't even have a thing equipped. Whoops. I was just punching it right there. Boom. Man, look at that. And then some poison damage. 261A2. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. And like I said, every time we attack with a whip, it does the shock wave. Oh, man. That's going to be powerful as heck. I'm so excited to jump into the next map, you guys. Let's definitely do it. How many emeralds? Uh, 542. Oh, yeah, because we got rid of some stuff. What do we want to do? Do we want to buy anything? That's some decent armor and all, but like, like, like level wise, but like, ah, I really wish it was higher level and stuff. I could, I guess I could pay him to restock and see what he gets. Luxury uh, merchant. Yeah, nothing new there, honestly. And the mystery merchant. Yeah, I, I don't think we want to buy anything there, honestly. And I can't do the gift wrap thing because I'm in single player, and I can't do the uh, blacksmith thing because, well, that's just for upgrading items, right? For right now, I guess we'll move on over to the new creeping winter area over here with what looks like three new levels. So we're going to be doing Frosted Fjord first. Whoa, new reward six, secret location two. So we have one of the two secret locations. New reward six. So there's a new reward over here, really? Oh, I guess it's one of these things where it's an unknown reward that I, I have yet to discover. And there's a few more over here. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, wait, what, what, what is this daily trial over here? Daily trial, overgrown temple. Uh. Oh, and it has two rewards. Melee rare and a melee unique. Ooh, your power is uh, 48. Recommended power is 63, though. You know what? I'm very intrigued by this thing. For episode one of this DLC, though, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Maybe next episode we'll, we could try this out. Uh, but for right now, or maybe I'll even have that as a part of the, the Overgrown Temple sort of series there, but for the Creeping Winter DLC, let's just, let's finally, like, 15 minutes into this video, let's finally start the Frosted Fjord mission. My power is power level 48, with a recommended power of 45, so it seems like we're a little bit overleveled, a little bit, you know, nothing too crazy. Gear drops, pickaxe, what looks like some sort of scythe? Short bow, I don't know what that could be, maybe some sort of armor, and another piece of what looks like armor. Another reward right there, some sort of artifact we don't have yet, and a lightning rod and a fishing rod. So let's just jump into the mission, let's start the mission over here. In the frozen fjord. Or the frosted fjord. Ooh, look at those zombies and this, what looks like a new enemy right there, that's interesting. Creepers back there, of course. 
I mean, like, it is the Creeping Winter DLC. There better be Creepers, right? Oh, another shard. When the Orb of Dominance shattered, it split into powerful shards that spread across the overworld. A shard fell upon this unlucky land, and a creeping winter is now consuming this once lively place. Until the shard is destroyed, the devastating frost will continue to spread, smothering all life in snow and shadow. Whoa. So it, the, the shard made, like, jungle grow in the previous DLC, now there's, like, creeping, like, like, like frozen snow and stuff. In this DLC, interesting. I wonder if that opens up the door for like a really hot DLC or something like that here in like a desert DLC here in the future or something. That'd be really interesting. There's like a horse statue here. Let's look at that. I, I need to get used to the controls again, you guys. Like it's been a little while. Pull up the map. There's this. Oh god, there's 12 chests that we need to find. Zero out of zero secrets found just thus far though. Uh, how do I pull up the other map? Okay, Q. All right. Yeah, there's a lot here, you guys. Seems like there's a lot over here as well that we kind of missed out on. Find the source of the creeping winter. What's up here? Oh, there's an open house. Can I go inside? Oh, I can. Ooh, interesting. I think I think it had like a loading screen previously when I went into buildings. So that's cool. We could actually just walk into them now. That's interesting. There's a little bit of emeralds over there. I can't go into that though. I need to go like around it. Oh yeah, we've got the faster roll. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go over here though. Let's go inside here and let's go get those emeralds, shall we? Because whoo man, do I need them? Because I need to feed my loot addiction, right? Yep, nothing over here either. All right, well, hey, there's like a sled right there. Some some crates on it. Let's go this way and hopefully we're going to find some enemies or something. Because this seems rather bare over here. Very barren. Nothing over here. No enemies. Nothing. Can I go inside this building? Yes, I can. Some emeralds over here, though. That's good. Break that open with the whip. Yeah, this whip is really good. I haven't found anything this far. No frozen. So oh! That was water. <laughs> I'm an ice cube. Oh, yeah, I don't, don't want to fall into water. Oh, jeez. It takes a second for you to, to kind of respawn there. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Not finding any secrets thus far. Oh, I'm here in a villager. I just heard someone go, ha, or ha. Where did it come from, though? There's a fire that's still on fire right here. I'm not, I'm not going to be bothered to put that fire out. It's not my problem. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we found... Oh, no, oh, there's one of those... Uh, Man, what were those called? The ones that, like, like move the earth. I forgot what they're called, but they do have a... Oh, there's a polar bear. Oh, the polar bear's... Getting poisoned though, the polar bear's in the way! No! Killed the polar bear, didn't even need to kill it, but I killed it. Man, this zombie's throwing heckin' snowballs at me, what? I'm gonna pick up that TNT, pick it up, and throw it. How do I throw it again? That away, there you go. Alright, kill this guy, nice. I kill all the stuff over there? Oh man, it did some good damage, it was like 500 or something damage. You got a heckin' snowball right there. <laughs> oh, kill the polar bears, go attack us, it's poisoned! Hold on, I want- oh, it just takes- yeah, it takes one damage like every half second or something like that. So nothing too crazy, I suppose. There you go, whip these guys. Boom. Look at that shockwave. Two shot in these guys. Man! I'm like, we do a little bit less than 500 damage per whip. And of course, as you guys saw right there, we're able to attack multiple enemies at once because of the AoE just kind of kicking in with a whip there. It just kind of strikes in a line pattern, which is crazy cool. See if there's anything. Oh yeah, this was the house that was on fire. Anything this way that we might have missed? Seems like there might be uh, some sort of square up here. Just looking at the minimap. Yeah, up there I see it. There's a big anvil up there. I don't think I think it's decoration though. From what I remember. Yeah, I think it's just decoration and there's nothing up here. Seems like they're trying to smell like what looks like gold ore up there or something. <laughs> Let's continue on though. Let's try and find the source of the creeping winter. As we already killed all the enemies here. Oh, here are more uh oh more illagers? Where are they? Are they on this island over here? No, they're not on that. They're definitely up ahead, though. Yep. Oh, wait. Zombie right there. Yeah, he's throwing a snowball at us. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot of stuff down there, though. Hold on. I kind of want to get my bow out and get it with the explosion. Nice. Man, that's good. Now, remember, yeah, remember our whip does have a chance of, like, chaining these guys together so we can actually better uh, melee them down whenever they're, like, really close together. There you go. Get that. Get a little bit of health regens. Nice. One shot in these zombies. Whoa. Sweet brew. Whoa. I wonder what that is. I wonder what the effect of that is. Oh, I didn't even see this guy until just right there. Sheesh. Yeah, we are getting souls right now, though. We do have the soul harvester right there. Oh, there's a big bunny. Look at how big that bunny is. That's crazy. <laughs> Trying to get these. Oh, wait. Now there's a few zombies right there. Gone with the explosion. Nice. The one that I even hit with the explosion didn't even die. What? Oh, I got a fish. Cooked salmon. Whoa. Oh, they got. That's what the chaining thing is? Ooh. 
It didn't really do anything, though, because I think they were on top of stairs and it didn't really do anything with them. So it didn't, like, chain them together, unfortunately. I guess the stairs were in the way. Nothing over here, though, just a polar bear. Don't need to worry about him, he's one of the- Oh, whoa, 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 when you roll on the ice, man, do you go flying! Look at that! Man, that's crazy. And of course, I kinda, yeah, like I wanna say, I, I kinda wanna get hit on purpose by a snowball just to see how much damage it does, if anything. Come on, hit me with a- Man, they're bad. Hold on, was that like 30? 11 da- Okay, 11 damage from the snowball? Eh. I'm like, you wanna watch out for it, make sure you don't take too many of those. Oh, <laughs> chain the hiking polar bear right there! Yeah, nothing really happens with that chain though, I guess it just kinda freezes them in, in place instead of like actually- Oh man, I'm getting like- frozen skeletons over here now. Man, I love how these guys- Oh! <laughs> I just rolled right into the heckin' ice! Break the ice! Oh, I have to click on it to break the ice. Whoa, man, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Whip these guys nice. Got them with the poison, too. That's good. I'm like, the poison doesn't really do too much damage. At least it kind of, like, makes them ward away. There you go. From us, we can kind of- There we go. Oh, yeah, what did that, uh, sweet po- Did I even take that sweet potion? I didn't even look and see what that did. Oh, man, we have another one of these guys. As you want to be spawning in these 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 pillars, trying to whip these guys as much as we can. Boom! There you go. There's one down. Yeah, it, it kind of just freezes them in place. Oh yes, throw that TNT over there. Perfect. Let's go over here, take care of these guys while that TNT takes care of the other guys. And let's take down these crossbow guys. I forgot what these were. These guys. Hold on. I think the vindicators are the ones with the uh, the axes. Man, I think these are just pillagers, right? The ones with the crossbows. I think that's just technically their name. Wait, where is it? Oh man, there's two of them up here. Whoa! Let's try and get up with the bow. I definitely need to heal up though. There you go. And we have the soul. Or uh what, what was it called again? I forgot what it was called. Can we take the po the potion barrier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do we even have the potion barrier? I didn't see it right there. It's supposed to last like seven seconds or something crazy though. Let's see. Oh man, yeah, this is a big area over here. A few more of these I can one shot these guys, it's crazy. Maybe I should have uh picked the difficulty a little bit higher. Because it said I was like level 46 or something like that. And the recommended difficulty, or recommended power, was like 43. So, yeah, I am over leveled a little bit. But hey, it's a little bit of a change of pace from last time, right? When we were under leveled as heck. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. I don't want to go this way. This this way is where we have to go for the actual mission. I'm going to go this way because this is where the bonus stuff is. So I want to see if there's any juicy loot over here. Let's see. Still no secrets found. Still no, no chests found. That's kind of interesting, though. I wonder how many... Oh, wait, no. These just kind of converge in the same area. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh man, I hit that polar bear because of the heckin' whip. <laughs> ah. Oh, and then he hit it because of his arrow went through. Oh man, I'm sliding all over the place. I'm liking this little, little sliding mechanic though. You gotta admit, it's pretty interesting. Definitely. Oh man, it chains a lot of enemies together. Or has the potential to do it. And let's whip these guys as much as we can. Get those arrows. Get the arrow bundle. Get up with the heckin'. There we go, nice. Because we are running low on arrows. There you go. Ten more arrows right there. Perfect. And let's try and group these guys together as much as we can so we can get up with the whip. And of course with the uh, the crossbow. Or uh, I think it is a crossbow. Like the explosive crossbow. Man, whoa, whoa. Smooth operator achievement. Nice. What am I? Is it because I'm dancing over here or something? Shadow brew. Sneak attack. 2,081 damage. Whoa. That was crazy. Oh no, don't want to land in the water there. Let's try and get these guys with explosive. Nice, new armor. I want to see what that's all about. There we go, get them. Whip these guys. And take him down. Oh, it's a power level 47 though, so it's probably trash. Get that cooked salmon, get some regens from that. How long does that last? Like 10 seconds? Oh, a new ice bow. Snow bow. Ooh, I want to see what that's about. Hold on. I want to get to a safe location though. Let's go over here. Though. Oh, oh, that's just a bunny. Okay, okay. Let's see. What is that snow bow? I'm, I'm interested in that. 105 to 262? Only, uh, gravity and wild rage, though. Not crazy about that, honestly. But 105 to 262, that's pretty heckin' good, and it takes way less ammo! Whoa! So if we switch over to this, we have 112 arrows. Man, we had like 20 just a moment ago? That's a 112 because we're switching over to something that takes way less, uh, arrows there. Sheesh! Try and- Boom! 262 right there with that full pullback. Look how fast we move on the ice, it's crazy! And it kind of freezes them, too. I didn't even read, like, uh, the description of this thing, but I assume if you hit it a bun- Hit an enemy a bunch of times, it'll freeze them, or it has a chance to freeze them, maybe? I don't know. Or at least slow them down or something. Nice, at least hit these guys. And let's get them with the whip. There we go, nice. Man, I love this whip. Man, I don't know if we got, like, really lucky getting this whip from that, uh, that mystery crate there, but man, is it good. Nice. See, any more enemies over here? Yeah, this is, this is a long pathway over here. I feel like the other pathway might have been the, the bonus pathway. This is, this might be the legit pathway right here, you guys. There you go, hit these guys. There's still someone up here. Yep, there's a few of them up there. Try and get them with the full pullback so we do maximum damage. Which is still more than the, uh, the explosive thing, but of course it takes a second. We can't just, oh, there's a guy over here. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Hold on. I want to snipe him down. There he is. Sniped him down. Nice. Take care of these, uh, these... 
skeletons. I, I don't know what the actual technical name of them is. I, I did see at one point in time we were able to see what their name was. But I, I, I... Oh, man, there's a lot over here. Man, there's a polar bear attacking me, too. Kill the polar bear. Kill it. Oh, man, didn't even kill... Man, that, the, the reach of this thing is crazy. There you go. Aim that guy down. Is there another one? I'm just going to kill that bunny just because why not? Jeez, I'm a savage. Golly. Man, I completely forgot about my artifacts, you guys. I need to use them. We have the soul. We have... No, we don't have full souls. We, we're a little bit over halfway right now, which is okay, but... Nothing too crazy, but I could I could definitely use the firework. I could have used it right there. That would have been a perfect opportunity to use the firework arrow. Still seen zero chests thus far. That's crazy, you guys. I'm gonna take a healing potion right there, though. Yeah, potion barrier. There it is, activated right there. I, I guess I didn't see it earlier on or some. I don't know. Let's go this way. Let's slide on the ice. Oh, whoa! I don't want to go into the water. Jeez. I'm like, if you go into the water and die, you only lose like a fraction of your health. I forget how much you'd lose, but. Since we have way more health now, I assume we lose way more health, too. Let's go to this other direction over here. I'm very curious what's over here. Because there's got to be, like, a little bit of loot or something over here. Because that way is definitely the way you need to go for the mission. I thought it was this way. I thought I thought the mission thing was pointing this way, but I guess not. Anyways, get these uh, zombies right here as they throw snowballs at us. Jeez. Oh, oh, I saw, okay, I saw that. Oh, God, I just got exploded right there. I saw that, and I thought, okay, it's pointing me this way. But no, it was, it was the other way around. It was pointing the other direction. Man, I'm getting comments about it. <laughs> All right, take care. Oh, man, the, 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 the shock wave, I think, is what it's called. Yeah, the shock wave killed that, uh, that one totem illager guy. Man, I, I need to... I need to see what their actual name was. Sheesh. Oh, I'm glad I'm going up here, taking care of these guys instead of going to the, the lower area and getting, like, very vulnerable from the, the totems and stuff. Oh, another sweet brew. Was that freezing resistance? I wonder if I could fall in the water and not have to, like, break out of the ice now. That'd be really interesting. Oh, look at that. We just gained a little bit of health back from the uh, from the regeneration. That's good because we're down a little bit right there, so that's great that we're getting some health back. Go out on TNT. That's going to be overkill out the butt. 545. What? That TNT does, like, basically nothing now. Man, my, my bow, well, my bow does like half that, but my, my whip and the shockwave like together does almost as much as that. Sheesh, that's nothing. There you go, whip these guys and kill them nice. Yeah, that polar bear has more health than these enemies. It's crazy. What's over here? Oh, just one more guy. Yeah, this was the bonus area, but I must see. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. Is this something? Any secrets over here? Any, no chat, nothing? There's nothing over here. What? Really? Hey, there's a salmon. I'll get me some more uh, regenerate. Oh, we have strength right now. Man, I can only imagine how much damage we're going to be doing with the strength. Hold on. I forget if it was double or, tri or uh, triple. I don't know. I think it's double with the strength. Let me let me test it out on these bunnies. 520? 520 from what? The whip and the thing combined? I don't think so. I think it's just either the whip itself or the shockwave itself that was doing 520 right there. Sheesh. Well, glad that we cleaned that out, but at the same time, there was no loot over there, so I feel like I was scammed a little bit. <laughs> oh, let's go this way. How is there 12 chests in this map, and we've gone through all of this so far, and then we haven't found anything? Either that or I'm, like, blind as a bat. I'm not seeing anything, you guys. Yeah, it, it, there must be, like, secret areas with, like, multiple chests inside of them or something. I don't know. I'm not seeing any, like, cave entrances around. Oh, whoa! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't have the fire, uh, the ice resistance anymore, but uh, I could go down here. I guess I could have waited and then slipped off, but yeah, the ice does slip around, so you do need to be careful in that regard. Let's go this way. So now we're actually breaking new ground, breaking new ice, if you will. <laughs> oh, what's this over here? We have a new area up here. There's just an area in general. Is this going to have a chest? Hopefully, right? Nothing? Did we kill everything over here already? We might have. Hmm. There's like actually no enemies. It's kind of... Oh, oh, I'm hearing something now. Oh, here we go, here we go. Totem guy, got him. Sniped him down. Whoa! Illusioner! We have a new boss, or a new mini boss, you guys. Illusioner. Which one was the real one? Did we kill him right there? No, no, he's still, uh, he's still got the health bar. Where is he? Is he gonna... Oh, there he is again. Let me get him. Let me... Oh, where'd he go? Oh, which one's the real one? That was the fake one. That was... Oh, man, there's a lot of one. Hold on, is that the real... That's the real one. I was doing real damage to that one. Nice. Man, there's a lot of them. I'm going to get Potion Barrier just in case. Let's get these... Oh, man, the whip is going to be really good to find out which one's real. So we can, like, kind of eliminate multiple at once. Boom. Which one's the real one? Oh, there's a lot of them. Man. Oh, that's the real one. The real one kind of stays after you hit him once, I think. Yeah, there he is right there. He's taking Potion Damage. Where is he? Oh, there's a lot of them. Man, I'm going to get the... Uh, hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do the Harvester thing right there, but hey, it helped out. 
Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. I meant to do the firework arrow. Oh, the firework arrow missed? What? I can do another harvester explosion here in just a moment, but done may- Oh, there he is, there he is! Come on! Take him down, he's down! The illusioner's down, we met the new mini-boss and defeated him first try! Nice! Phantom armor! What's that? Hopefully it's good, was it- uh, what, what type of arrow? Oh, it's a red arrow! Our current one's level 53, unique shadow walker. We just got phantom- yeah, I guess that's- that's one of the downsides of- of doing this on a lower difficulty, we'll get lower power level armor and weapons and stuff from these guys dropped, so that sucks. 436 health, plus 50% souls gathered, and plus 30% range damage. Interesting armor. I don't know if I'd use it, to be quite honest. I love this. The damage reduction is amazing. The extra health is amazing. The brief invulnerability while rolling is awesome. It's just going to be, and of course, the faster rolling. So, of course, it's just going to be kind of tricky on the ice nowadays, but I'd say it's worth it. Let's keep going this way, though. Man, I like these mini-bosses. We haven't had them since, like, the Enderman and the, the, the... Oh, man, I forgot the... Oh, whoa, another one? What is it? Another illusioner or what? Survive the ambush! Oh, who's that guy? I don't know who that guy is, but he's dead now. <laughs> he was running away from me, so I don't even know if he was an actual enemy or what. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, it was an enchanter guy, I think, right? No, I think he looked different. The, the, the guy we killed, like, while his back was turned, <laughs> which is kind of savage. I think he had, like, a blue robe or something. I don't know where he is. But I'm killing the enchanter right now. The, yeah, these guys got chained right there, which is good. It, it just prevents them from moving. It, oh, creepers! Hold on, where's the creeper at? I don't want to snipe him down. There he is. Got him, nice. Let's take these guys down, there you go. Another one over there, perfect. Oh, there's some more enemies here. Oh yeah, they're like, running away and stuff. It's kind of crazy. Take down the creeper. Boom. Another creeper there. Boom. Nice. Take those souls. Oh, jeez. I had the game paused right there. I was getting attacked. <laughs> ah. Oh, is that it? I don't think so, hold on. Is that the last enemy of this round, or...? Oh wait, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna take a potion- Oh man, that was it! Man, I'm gonna take a potion right now anyways, though. Cause I don't have anything else to heal- Oh, oh, there's a... Man, I, I really need to figure out the name of these guys. I'm just gonna keep calling them, like, totem illagers and stuff. Where's this guy at? There he is! There you go. Man, the range of this thing is really good, too. Cook salmon, get some regeneration back. There is another pathway... I think this way might be the bonus pathway, honestly. This looks like it goes down and just kind of ends, so that's good. Keep going this way. Take care of this. Vindicator or whatever. Oh, Armored Vindicator. Take care of this guy. Boom. Got him. Man, this whip is amazing. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to restart this one on a higher... I mean, you know what? Maybe off camera I could do it. Oh, here we go. Finally found a chest. Sheesh. What's inside? Just just emeralds. Just emeralds, really? As if I... I, I have 645 emeralds right now. Do you think I need more? Ah. Oh. Alright. <laughs> well, I guess I can't really complain about that. That was our first out of 12 chests. Golly. Let's keep going this way, though. Another chest over here? Nope. Nope. None, nothing there. Jeez. <laughs> Let's keep going this way now. Seems like there's another pathway up here, but it- Oh, nice. That guy's stuck. Boom. Got him. Got him. And he's down. Nice. Yeah, see, look at that. I, I get emeralds for killing guys, so it, it, it'll, it'll make sense for me to get emeralds out of a chest, right? And there's no chest over here either. What? I really don't know where they're, they're stashing these chests. They're really hiding them from me, if that's the case. Either that or my lutometer, because it's been a couple months since we pulled- Oh, whoa, whoa, there's a- well, Looks like a cave up there, but I can't go up there. Man. But yeah, it's been a couple months since I played. Maybe my lutometer just isn't working very well, huh? Oh, a lot of ice up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Puzzle? I just hit a- Hit something, I don't know. I'm gonna hit all of these just so we get all the enemies at once. Oh, there's a, a cave entrance right there. Creepers! Oh, man! Got him. A lot of creepers spawning in. I should probably get the, uh, oh yeah, I should definitely get the explosive, explosive thing, guys, but man, this whip is doing amazingly. Oh, oh man, we're soaking up these creeper hits, though. Gotta survive. Oh, take it that. I'm going to get the harvester. Boom. Man, oh, oh, oh. One of them's, one of them's defeated. I defeated one of them, that's good. But because I, I did, like, two of them at once, there's still creepers spawning in. <laughs> ah. And there's the second one right there, spawned, like, inside of me. Sheesh. I took the shadow boot, got some, uh, some arrows. Okay, so now we're finally getting some, uh, some chests, right? Yeah, so now we have three out of- Well, the other number went up, so now there's 14. So we still have to find 11 more chests? Did I do this one? Oh, I did all three of them at once, yeah. Oh, yeah, we hit a pressure plate and the creeper symbol appears, and then it spawns in creepers, but... This one over here actually spawned in the, uh, the cave that we're supposed to go into, so that's good to know. Alright, well, let's go in, shall we? Oh, it's just a zombie, okay. Just, oh, we have a slime! No, yeah, I was about to say, is that the first time we've seen a slime in Minecraft Dungeons? But no, I think I remember it from, uh, one of the earlier levels, like one of the witch levels or something like that, right? Like in the main game, not like the DLC or anything like that. 
Let's see, which way do we want to go? Let's go this way. Yeah, there's like cave spiders, there's regular spiders, there's slimes. It makes sense. It, it definitely makes it uh, feel like a cave over here, which is good. Throw a TNT over there. That's probably way too far away, but it might kill that spider. Yep, killed the spider. Perfect. Thankfully, there's no water over here we have to watch out for. A couple spiders over here and a zombie. Throw an and snowball. Where's he getting the snow for that snowball? There's no snow in here, right? I don't see any, at least. Oh, how's there a lantern over there and it's not melting the ice? That's what I want to know. Kill that spot. What? How did it hit the polar bear? I was aiming at the spider. Man, now the polar bear is mad at me. There you go. Hey, at least I got a quick salmon out of it. Kill that slime. Nice. Yeah, it seems like it could have just gone either way and it just kind of converged here anyway, so not that big of a deal. I'll still kill these enemies, though. And yeah, I can go left. Kill the polar bear. Kill those. Oh, no, no, no. I got web. I got web. I was chaining these guys together. So it's. I guess, if anything, the chaining is kind of like my version of webbed. I could. I could web other enemies together if we feel like it, right? Now we have the freezing resistance, which doesn't really make sense. I I, I don't know really what the freezing resist or uh, freezing actually is. Oh, those minecarts have chests in them? They might. But yeah, I, I guess maybe that mechanic will come into play a little bit later, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know if we've already encountered, like, freezing already. I just haven't noticed it. Uh, anyways, let's go. It seems like we it wants us to go that way, so I'm going to go this way. Just because it's probably going to be... Yeah, look at that. There's a dead end up there, so that's good. Hey, there's some gold right there. No one no one mined it? Really? Is that obsidian? It's like coal. And there's coal right there. Like, block, actual blocks of coal. There you go. Kill the slimes. And regular spider over here. You know what? I'm going to snipe down... Uh, I'm going to snipe down the spider. Might as well use the other bow, too. I need to see what enchantments it has. I think it didn't have anything too crazy, so I didn't even bother enchanting it. Uh, we do have one enchantment point, though, so that's good. Does this have, uh, oh yeah, was it? oh, whoa, 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 we're taking some damage from snowballs, I need to watch out. <laughs> oh, what's this have again? Oh yeah, wild rage and gravity. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it, honestly. 20% 20 20 chance to make a, make a mob go into, like, a wild rage or whatever, to, like, attack other enemies. I'm not crazy about that, honestly. I really wish it had, like, power or something like that to make it do more damage, but... It already does a pretty good amount of damage as it is, right? Or maybe like some sort of explosive modifier enchantment thing. That would have been really cool. Take that salmon, regen up. Oh, we found another chest. Om nom nom achievement. I was about to say, are achievements new? Because it seems like we're getting them a lot, but... I guess maybe just because it's a new DLC, there's a lot of new enchantments, huh? There you go, kill these guys. Nice, yeah, that, that strength is amazing, you guys. Ah, oh, man. Doing tons of egg damage with the bow. Well, I'm like, we were earlier, but I'm even more now. Jeez. I just kind of want to snipe everything down because we do 500 damage with a bow now. Per shot. Pull full back. There, kill this guy with a whip. Is there really nothing over here? No chest? Oh, oh, oh. I'm hearing like strange noises again. There's a campfire right there. I don't know what that strange noise was. Like, it sounds familiar. I feel like we've heard it before. I just don't know where it's coming from or what it means. Hmm. Either way, let's just backtrack a little bit. Go this way, and I guess I guess there's another ultimate pathway to the left, so we can go that way, and maybe find even more loot, maybe more chests, hopefully, right? So let's go. Oh, oh, I got webbed. That means I have to use my bow now. At least these spiders and stuff are going super slowly. Boom! Two salmon right there. Oh yeah, look at that. I can hover over it. Yeah, ho just hover over it, and then uh, just show me what that spider's called. Ah, it doesn't. Yeah, if I hover over this, this salmon for like two seconds, it'll, it'll show me what the salmon does. So that's good, but like, I want to hover over these enemies to see what they're called. Man. All right, well, let's backtrack just a little bit. See what's over here on this uh, this, this pathway. That might have some juicy, delicious loot. Maybe more chests. We're up to four out of 14. Hey, that's good. Finally shaving down that 11 number that we're working on, right? Jeez. All right. Yeah, there, there's a minecart area down there, but I think it's just kind of decoration, so that sucks. And yeah, this is definitely a bonus area because it's yelling at me to go that way. So that's good. Hopefully we actually find something over here and not another dead end like we did up there, right? Oh, whoa. Cool rays of lights over here. What is this? Ray tracing? <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing that weird noise again. That weird, like, whimpering. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't know if it means there's, like, something nearby that I'm missing. But there's a big room up here. I assume there's going to be some sort of boss battle or something up here? Maybe? Oh, slimes and spiders, you know, just normal critters. Hey, I'll kill these guys with this potion. Nothing necessarily new in here, just a lot of minecarts, a couple furnaces, workbench, rails, of course, but nothing nothing else. Oh, these guys are already dead. I thought they were still alive. Jeez. Oh, well, there's at least one chest with emeralds, really? Ah, oh, I wasted my time coming over here for emeralds. Is that a, uh, I thought that was like a cave over there or something, but no. Man, why did I attack him? I guess if anything, we'll get emeralds or something like that out of him. There you go. Or nothing. Jeez. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's just backtrack a little bit, I suppose. Because I guess, oh, well, there's a swift, well, at least it gives us a swiftness potion so we can backtrack a little bit faster, right? Gee. Keep going this way, though. Then we have to go through the, the center pathway. And hopefully that's going to take us to 
more loot, right? Because, man, do we need it. We're, like, still, like, ten away, right? No, we're nine away right now. We're nine chests away from finding all the chests. Hopefully half the chests aren't, like, behind me on the first half of the level, right? Jeez. Big slime up there. Let's try and kill it. Boom. Or at least, you know, let it split off into a bunch of uh, smaller slimes real quick. So there you go. Smaller, weaker slimes. And, of course, we got us. Uh, Spider webbed right there, so kill these. Oh, oh, smaller slimes. There you go, get them. And there you go, kill those spiders. Nice. What's up here? Oh man, there's a lot of like winding paths and stuff. It's kind of crazy. I, I I don't know which path I should take. Like which is the real one? I think up there's the real one. So this one might be the Mona's path. Oh, treacherous edges here. Make sure we don't fall off. <laughs> get some more slimes. And yeah, we've got so much ammo. I really need to use these uh, these arrows more, you guys. Jeez. 246 arrows. I guess if anything, I could switch over to the explosive crossbow, and that would use... That would say I have less arrows, because, you know, it uses more ammo. Oh, another strength. Man, I'm going to use it on that creeper. Nice. And a lot more gold ore over here just kind of sitting around. No one's smelting it. Nothing. Even though there's chests, like, all the way back there. We still have strength, so let's definitely take it out on the creeper. Oh, it's like a frozen creeper, though. Whoa, I wonder what the... Is it just slower, or what? I wonder what the thing about that frozen creeper is. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a bonus room here. Keep getting this thing with the strength. There you go. Oh, we got the soul scythe. Whoa. Yo, I think there was a regular scythe earlier on in the game, or in the uh, the main game, or the pre or, uh, Jungle Awakens DLC or something like that. I don't know. But we got a soul variant of it, so that's interesting. I kind of want to see what that's about. Let's see. 159 melee damage. So it's oh, what is a level 50, though? What is this? Anima conduit? What is that again? Each soul you absorb grants a small amount of health. Interesting. So I guess that may that kind of incentivizes us to have more soul artifacts. So we, you know, get more soul gathering, and therefore more health whenever we uh, use the scythe. I might actually consider using it. What were the other ones? Looting and freezing? Cruel Reaper of Souls, the soul scythe is unsentimental in its work. Those who face the snowbow in battle must also prepare to face the chill of freezing wintry winds. Yeah. So it does have a chance of like freezing enemies, it seems, or it like actually slows them down or something like that. So that's interesting. Was this another mini boss or something? Oh, it's an actual big gold chest over there. Nice. Hopefully we actually have some good loot in there, right? Oh, another cave entrance. Ooh. Oh, oh that was a creeper. I didn't even notice that. At least we could one shot the creepers, especially with the strength right now. Golly. Open up the chest, scale mail, and a TNT. And emeralds. Man. What's a scale mail? Let me see. 420 health, hey! And then 35% damage reduction, and then 30% uh, melee damage. Interesting there, but still think I'm gonna keep my current armor, to be quite honest. <laughs>